The only 10 fragrances you need this winter. These fragrances are going to get you compliments. They're going to make you more attractive. They're going to get you laid. They're also pretty decent for people who just like to wear fragrances for themselves. <laughs> Winter, it's colder. It's the time of the year we freeze our balls off. Or if you're a woman, you freeze your... Well, that means you need to wear a fragrance beastly enough to bludgeon those freezing temperatures into submission. Here are some good ones. We all love a winter cheapie, right? So I'm gonna kick this video off with a good one from Ardal Zafran. It's tobacco intense. I get a creamy rum tobacco fragrance here. This is perfect to wear in the winter. If you do buy this, just don't smell it from the sprayer because it smells a bit, a bit crap. But when you spray it on your skin, it smells amazing. It is, I believe, an inspiration of Carolina Herrera's Mystery Tobacco. Similar ballpark, perhaps, to Parfum de Mali's Carlisle or Mancera's Red Tobacco, although I don't think it's as intense as those fragrances. I don't think it's got as much depth or complexity, but it still is very, very good. 10 to 12 pounds, it's rude not to. For the next one, we're stepping things up a little bit in terms of quality, but I don't think the quality difference is really justified by the huge price tag on this fragrance. Nevertheless, I love this and it really reminds me of the winter. From By Killian, it's Black Phantom. In this, again, we've got rum, we've got vanilla, we've got caramel, we've got burnt sugar, we've got all the gourmand sweet notes. Whenever I smell this, I want to drink it. It smells that good. I wish I could take the cap off this bottle and just drink it. So what I think I need to do, let me know if you want to see this video, I want to go around all the bars in the city where I live, take this fragrance, let them smell it and see if they can recreate the smell of this fragrance in a cocktail. And then we'll see which bar wins and maybe I'll, I'll give them a, a prize, a, a spray, a spray of this would be a great prize for them. But let me know, could be an interesting video. This one really reminds me of winter because I first wore it when I went ice skating with my family. I was zipping around the ice, I was doing pirouettes, I was jumping, I was going backwards, I was doing all the things you do when you're a great ice skater. And all the while I was uh, smelling of Black Phantom. We went for a hot chocolate afterwards. Really love to wear this one in the winter. Works well if you're a superb ice skater or if you're not such a superb ice skater. Rum again for this next one. It's a designer fragrance from Emporio Armani. It's stronger with you, absolutely. Yes, intensely, smells really good as well. And that also works for the winter time, but I just love that rum note. I think rum is a great note to wear in the colder weather. One of the most wearable, mass appealing winter fragrances. You can wear this on dates, you can wear this for nights out, you can wear it wandering around Christmas markets. We've got vanilla, we've got toffee, we've got chestnuts roasting on an open fire. If that's not winter, what is? I was joking with the lewd and crass intro to this video for reasons of humour, but if you didn't realise that and you actually do want a fragrance for all those reasons, then it's this one. From one of the most wearable designer fragrances to one of the uh, less wearable niche fragrances, and that's not to say it's not an incredible scent because I believe it is. It's just got to be right for you. You've got to really enjoy this type of fragrance. From Amouage, it's Royal Tobacco. This, tobacco intense, it's not intense. This is where the intensity is at. Smoky, ashy tobacco with licorice punches so hard it knocks winter out cold. The complexity here is stunning, I love it, but it only suits a certain type of people. If you want easy to wear, mass appealing, compliment getting fragrances, this might not be the one for you. So definitely try before you buy, because not everyone is ready for this kind of responsibility. And you do have to be responsible with this fragrance because if you overspray, it can mean the difference between owning a room and killing a room. Remember, own it, don't kill it. Next is one of the latest releases from Tom Ford. This is Tom Ford Noir Extreme Parfum. This one brings leather to the party. It's got the dessert-like sweet qualities of the original fragrance, but this brings tons more attitude and depth. It's stronger, it lasts longer, definitely better in the colder weather. Makes me think that the original EDP should be renamed Tom Ford's Noir Extremely Tame. See what I did? We've got a real powerhouse of a fragrance from Parfum Damali. Said it before, but I'll say it again because I love the way it sounds. Carl Lizzle 
is my shizzle. I know, sounds good, right? You can sound as good as me if you buy Carlisle from Parfum de Mali. This is a beautiful, fruity, woody tobacco scent. I love how it perfectly balances complexibility with mass appeal ability. I can wear this quite easily. It's very wearable, very mass appealing, but it also at the same time makes a statement. It grabs attention because it's super strong and it lasts ages. It's so strong that if I wore this, on a cold, dark winter's night in the middle of Antarctica, the polar bears would be staying away. Do they have polar bears in Antarctica? Yeah, I'm not quite sure that works, but um, you know what I'm saying. The most intense version of Dior Homme is not, as you might think, Dior Homme intense. I know, confusing world in which we live in. The most intense version is Dior Homme. Parfum. This is richer, denser, more intense. It's classier. It's got more attitude. If you want the longest lasting, most attention grabbing version of the Dior Homme DNA, then Dior Homme Parfum <laughs> laughs in the face of cold weather like that. You gotta love the Zaharoff DNA. Damn, he's a good looking man. But you've also gotta love the DNA of his fragrances. If you want the strongest version of that DNA, you can use Zaharoff Signature Royal X. This stuff is extra strength, so really noticeable. It's got heavy base notes like leather and oud. It's got a punchy, animalic quality. Oh. If you like the signature smell and you want to amp things up for the colder weather with something that is strong, sexy and carnal, X marks the spot. The G spot. If you love fragrance as much as I do, head over to my online store, luxparfum.co.uk. You'll find my favourite brands, plus brands you can't find anywhere else in the UK. Link is in the description. Sometimes you just need a cosy, sexy smell with notes of vanilla, tobacco and spices. Sometimes you just need Spice Bomb Extreme. Impress your mates down the pub. Impress the girls down the club. Impress the guys in the club. And after all that impressing, if you still come home alone, Impress yourself with how hot you smell. Honey and tobacco is a killer combo for the winter and Zerjoff Naxos provides. This is a sweet, rich, indulgent scent with an incredible luxury feel. You know the score. This is incredible stuff. It's incredibly addictive, incredibly nuclear. Naxos is quite simply the bomb. In fact, all the fragrances in this video are the bombs because you're covered for everything from skiing to winter nights out to championship ice skating to pretty much any winter based activity you can think of. Building igloos. Perfect. Let me know what you thought of my winter fragrances and what are you wearing this winter? What are your go to's? Give me your list of five or ten or whatever. Just just make them good. All right. OK, if you like this video, you know what to do. Give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already. And if you do all that, I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. It's got a punchy, animalic quality. Oh. It's got a punchy, animalic quality. Oh. It's got a punchy, animalic quality. It's got a punchy, animalic quality. Wow. Easy, Chewy. It's got a punchy, animalic quality. Uh, uh, wow. Wow. Uh, uh, Alright, focus.